are truly deep in the heart of Texas. And the Goodyear blimp provides a bird's eye view of the great city of Dallas, the site of the Cotton Bowl. Oklahoma said we'll take the wind and go on defense. Thompson's kickoff, not a good one. The short man. Secondary. This will be a third and nine for Stafford and the Horns. Off the delay, it's Metcalf. Stop at the 50. Great tackle by Dante Jones, number 50. They're working three wideouts on this second and ten. And off a of fake, Stafford with great time. Intercepted. Oklahoma with a scoring opportunity as Ricky Dixon picks off a ball that appeared catchable. It was very big down for the Texas defense. All the way pitching outside, and the trailing man has picked up beautifully. That was Richard, the cornerback who came up, number 18, by R.D. Lasher. Misses. this game their starting backfield was averaging seven and a half yards a rush Texas has shut down on them here so far don't be surprised if they don't come up with a pass to tight end Keith Jackson at some point to try and loosen up this defense let's see how it operates here now they run right straight ahead with Collins Johnson are the wideouts straight back plenty of time intercepted again the second interception is Vickers up the deflected ball. They were going to bring him around. Fumble. Texas ball. Thank you, Brent. This man needs no introduction to us, Brian Bosworth. Boz, you've been in a few of these. What does this rivalry mean to you? I'm telling you, they're playing a great game out there today. This rivalry is where you throw all the all the statistics away. You go out there and you see who's the baddest on the field at that time. What about the battle over number 44, to wear it in the NFL or not? What happened in court? Well, you know, it's something that uh, I really can't comment on right now. It's I'm, I don't really agree with it, but uh, something that... Uh, I'm going to deal with it later on down the okay. line. Let's go back to you, Brent. All right, on third down, Stafford throws complete to Metcalf. Metcalf oh. short of the first down. All the way. Under pressure, Haggy was blitzing. Great catch by Jackson out of bounds inside the 10. Oh, the Alabama goal. pitch. Collins breaks free. Inside the 35-yard line before Senegal runs him down. Sixes. He has kicked a few extra points, though. Good. Mm. Metcalf. Another great defensive play. This one by Williams. Wow. Out of Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Number nine. Here is the pitch now. Stafford trying to get the corner. He might have been short of that first down. He'll throw. Touchdown, Jackson. And a penalty marker down. Here comes Metcalf again. Another first down. Breaks inside the 40. They'll stop the clock while they move the chains. Stafford runs the option and Norris, the fullback, Gets close to the 30-yard line. Got a strong leg, doesn't he? That's two for him. Field goal. That's the end of a surprising first half. The Texas Longhorns hang tough. They trail Oklahoma by only seven points. They were a 30-point underdog. Dixon saves the moment. Holloway oh. going for Cabanis. Touchdown, Oklahoma. All right, now we got a first down after that short burst. 
under heavy pressure. Scrambles away from it. Intercepted. Had a man open and could not get it over Troy Johnson's head. There is a penalty. Introduction and Earl, uh, you've had some fond memories of this series and some dark memories. Tell me about it. Well, I think my darkest memory probably was, first of all, when we was playing in my junior year, we had a chance to win and I fumbled. The greatest memory probably my senior year when I hurled a guy here at the Cotton Bowl on the left side. Wait a second, let's go back to this play. That looked like Earl Campbell. Lydell Carr gave us his impression of Earl Campbell and rambled in 32 yards. Working with the three wide men, making the Metcalf. Intercepted. He overthrew his receiver, Johnson, who was wide open. And Crudup brings back the interception. He's got the first and then stop. Inside the 10 yard line. second and go. The one thing they do say, a team say about Oklahoma is down here that Holloway likes to keep the ball. He likes to be dancing in the end zone. The one way to stop this option is to string it out. That's what Texas defense does here. Watch how many orange jerseys play down the line of scrimmage. No place for Holloway to go. Looks like they've at least stripped him of his name. What'd Jamel have to do? Go to a backup jersey? <laughs> He's as good a <laughs> wishbone quarterback as they've seen at Oklahoma carried 15 times for 70 yards and he may well he may be hurt there looks like they hold his left uh, elbow or shoulder you know I think the ref made him leave he hands it off and Collins bangs in touchdown for the Sooners got a strong leg. So it's as if the starter was hurt. Thompson keeps it cut back. How about that first? Thompson trying to get free and Haggy finally got him at about the 25 yard line. Thompson keeps it. Got an alley. He'll be out at the 10. Just inside the 10 yard line. The nine yarder. Mm. He's got it. They lead it by 28. Mitchell, number one, check in at running back. And they break the fullback. Rodney Anderson. There's the backup fullback. Uh, the ones that have played for him, they've got a lot of nice things to say about it. Keeping it is Thompson. Goodbye. it again. Scott Garl. How do you rate you Holloway? Is he, is he there anything? You know, he's got to be one of the candidates. We make Tim Brown of Notre Dame the favorite. Yeah. Tough for a wide receiver. I think as long as he scores touchdowns for the Fighting Irish, he'd get mm -hmm. the job. Now. Look what he did today. He became yep. the uh, number one. A little incident. The backup quarterback shaken up. Yeah, they really should have thrown a flag over there, Pat. I hate to see that. Now you wonder whether Barry's going to give Jamel well, rank number one. Great performance by Switzer's team in the second half. So we'll continue from Dallas after this message and a word from your local stations.